What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Locksense. I'm your boy Dr. Goo, back with another fragrance, first impressions for you. So, finally came in. It is Fahrenheit Le Parfum by Christian Dior. And I actually have the original Fahrenheit EDT. This one is a parfum and I finally got it, got it at a good deal. So, yeah, super excited to do a first impressions. So, on the top of the box, you've got the CD for Christian Dior. You know, sides are black, back has some like product information, other side, and you got, uh, you know, just some, you got batch code over here, and then it, this is a 75 ml or a 2.5 uh, fluid ounces. So let's go ahead, open up the, tear off that sticker, open up the box, probably fast forward through this part. But yeah, cool. Batch code is 1E01. I don't know if you could see that. It's right there. So let's go ahead. Let's open it up. Spray down some skin and paper. We'll read the notes off. I'll let you know what I think. Beautiful bottle. Just exactly the same, but stubbier. You got the CD on the bottom here and it's got Fahrenheit it doesn't say parfum anywhere it just kind of looks like a shorter stubbier version of Dior Fahrenheit EDT and the cap style is different on the regular Fahrenheit the whole cap comes off like that so nice oh all right Let's go ahead. This is going to be my son of the day today. I hope everybody's having a good week or had a good week Saturday today. So let's go ahead and spray this on some. Oh. Woo. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. I'm getting a little bit too excited. Beautiful atomizer. Okay, so let's go ahead and read off the notes. So it says, Fahrenheit Le Parfum was released in 2014. This is classified as amber spicy for men. The top notes are suede, licorice, Sicilian mandarin. The middle notes are violet leaf, rum, coriander, and cumin. And the base notes are bourbon vanilla. Wow, guys, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Right up top, I, I, I get the suede, I get the licorice just a tiny bit, and you get this rum note. Um, I'm assuming it's the rum note, um, but it could also be the bourbon vanilla because I get some sweetness in there. And this does not smell anything like the original Fahrenheit EDT. Um, the original Fahrenheit EDT, to my nose, uh, it does not give off like a petrol vibe or a diesel vibe like everybody says. Um, I get more of like a, a flowery feel. It's more floral to my nose because it has the, uh, it has the lavender in there. It's got the... It's got a, it's got like a carnation note in, in there to the original. And this, this one, the Parfum, You definitely get like this kind of like a there's like this licorice note in here that it, it, it smells really good it's it's like a licorice root and I don't get any of the Sicilian Mandarin but I get a you know there there is that violet leaf note in there it is toned down a little bit um, it, this is the the violet note in here is, is is toned down a lot more than in the original Fahrenheit EDT uh, you definitely get the coriander I can definitely smell the cumin note um, and that bourbon vanilla guys it's really good I mean oh wow I'm just super happy I got the uh, 
Very mature too. I it's not like I mean like very classy. Um, I can see you wearing this like this is like a formal thing. Like you you dress this up with a suit, but I'm gonna be wearing it with t t shirt and shorts. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> just you get like the sweetness from the bourbon vanilla. There's some violet in there. You get the rum note. It's kind of boozy a little bit. Now, obviously, this is my first impression, so I'm not going to stick around long enough to figure out what the dry down is, but, well, I will later, but not on video, you know. I love it. It's not as loud as the EDT either. The EDT kind of screams off my skin. This one, it, I could tell, like, it's there, but it's not going to scream out. You're not going to offend people with this. I don't see how anybody could hate this. If you didn't like the original Fahrenheit EDT, I mean, I definitely suggest you try this out. It's a lot sweeter. Um, there is no petrol note in here, at least to my nose, just because I work around petrol and diesel all the time. So like, maybe my nose is used to it, but. Very boozy, very sweet, vanilla-ish-esque. Um, like I said, there's a rum note in here and then you've got the bourbon vanilla. So there's kind of like two rum notes in here and um, bourbon vanilla, obviously there's bourbon with vanilla and that's how you get bourbon vanilla. Obviously, I mean, you get the leather note in here. Uh, you get a little bit of that violet. It's turned way down compared to the original EDT. And um, it's just really good fragrance. I'm glad I, I'm glad I really, I'm glad I pulled the trigger on this. It's almost kind of, it's almost gourmand, almost, almost. Just, it, it, it's not as sweet, you know, it's, it, it, if it was a little bit sweeter, it'd be almost gourmand. I love gourmands, but guys, I love it. I think it's a 10 out of 10. Uh, as far as projection and performance goes, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to give it a couple more wearings but yeah, that's my first impressions of Dior Fahrenheit Le Parfum. So if you guys like this video, like and subscribe. I got some decants coming from Lucky Scents and I also have some decants coming from um, Indigo Perfumeries. Um, it's, I think they're located out in Ohio. Uh, expect to see more first impressions, expect to see more Kind of just like, I want to try out some like super high quality niche brands out there. I got some Mancera uh, samples coming in. So for all my subscribers who wanted me to do some more Mancera stuff, I have those coming in. I like to test stuff out before I buy it now, just because I have so many bottles. Uh, you know, I don't want to be the guy that has like a hundred thousand dollars worth of cologne that it's going, I'm never going to use. So guys, thank you for all the support. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope everybody stays safe, especially with the current affairs that, you know, the whole world is in right now. It's just a crazy time to be alive. So guys, stay safe. Thank you for watching Locksense. I'm your boy, Dr. Goo, and I'm out. See you later.